guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, it's another Golden Goose video, which I think you really like because every time I log into my YouTube Insights, my best performing video or my most watched video every day and every week is the Golden Goose versus Veja one from ages ago. So today I am going to be showing you three new pairs in my collection and kind of re-reviewing my thoughts on the sizing and the quality because these pairs are different to my other pairs. And I've never had that experience before because I've always kind of said that Golden Goose were standard fitting. And I've always kind of said that all my styles of Golden Goose fit the same and felt the same minus the ball star. But here I have three pairs of superstars in front of me. And my thoughts have changed a little bit on the sizing and the quality and stuff. So let's get straight into it and chat all about it. Like I can't wait to show you my three new pairs. I sold two pairs. Um, I spoke about this in a previous video. A lot of the time when coming into spring, if I have pairs that were like kind of winter focused, I'll sell them on and then put that money towards a new summer pair. So for example, I sold my kind of dark sparkly pair because I kind of think sparkles are winter, she says as she bought a new sparkly pair for the summer. But we're going to talk about that because that's another kind of worms in itself. But I sold my sparkly pair and my pair with kind of the fur on them. I think I'm going to stick away from the... Um, high star ones, the ones with a thicker sole. I just think I prefer the superstar, but let's get straight into it. I can't wait to show them to you and I can't wait to hear your thoughts on which one is your favorite pair. Okay, so all of these pairs are quite different. Um, They were all bought in different places as well. So let's start first of all with this pair because these are actually from their new collection, from the spring summer collection. I got these in Samui and I am just obsessed. I think this is possibly my favorite pair yet because they're very bright white. Um, they're not like dirty looking like they do have the distressed parts that I actually really like it's nearly like a metallic scruffing if that makes sense but the runner itself is like very clean and bright and summery and obviously the laces were a massive selling point for me I just love that they're so pink and bright and the best thing about going for a pair of golden goose that are I suppose quite plain and not as much going on is you can just change up the whole look by changing the laces like I could put some sparkly laces in these to make them more wintry which is what I will discuss about my other pair that I'm going to show you um, or else you can just put in a pair of neon plain laces for the summer which I think makes which I think makes them look a lot brighter and summery. So maybe adding a pair of like neon blue, neon green, neon orange, because there's no other color in it besides silver and some animal print to the back. I can literally put whatever color lace in them. Um, which brings me to my next point. I'm never ever selling these, like never ever. If you ever see me even attempt to sell these, be like, Shauna, screw your brain back on. These were your favorite pair you've ever had. And one thing, that I'm a bit confused about, and you know what? Maybe the reason that I actually sized down in these, I got a UK four and all my other Golden Goose are a five, it's probably because I tried them on in person. All my other Golden Goose I've bought either second hand, which meant I couldn't return them, so I just got a five to be safe, or I, actually, that's a lie, because I got a pair from Smallable before, this pair is from Smallable as well. I got a pair from Smallable before in a size four and they didn't fit me at all. They were way too small. And I remember someone asking me, then after that they were like, do you think the kids sizes are smaller than the adults? And I was like, no, 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 they're definitely the same. Like a four in kids is a four in adults. And now I'm thinking maybe not because I'm definitely a five in all my kids pairs. I thought I was a five in my adults until I went to try these on in a five and they were way too big for me. And like, I have my insoles in them here, as you can see, my blue orthotics. And even though there are four, they fit me perfectly. And another thing that I really just like about Golden Goose in general, even my size five pairs, I can say this about, they're so flattering on your foot and leg. They're very narrow without being really uncomfortable because they're obviously um, Italian leather. So it's gonna soften out and mold to the shape of your foot. It makes your foot look quite small, which some people might not like, but it definitely makes it look narrow, slim, very flattering. But in some pictures of me, especially for like baggy tracksuit pants, I'm like, my foot looks so tiny in them, especially my other pair of Velcro ones uh, that I got on Smallable, the gold ones. My foot looks tiny in them, even though there are five. But let's keep talking about these. I got a four in these and they fit me absolutely perfectly, even with my insoles in. So now I'm kind of like, maybe I'm a five in the kids, 
and a four in the adults. And then I was like, but some of my other fives that I have upstairs from the adults fit me perfectly. So I think it is a matter of your best to try them on. Um, I think that, to be honest, the sizing throughout Golden Goose is more or less the same. Um, I'm just, it, you know, with the orthotics, it does make it a little bit more complicated for me because technically speaking, my foot is a size four. I wear a size four in heels and stuff, anything that I don't wear my insoles with. So I just got into the habit of sizing up to a five to for safety, you know, um, for with the insoles. So technically I'm probably a four and a half if you really wanted to get fussy about it. I don't think Golden Goose do half sizes, but I'm happy with the four, they fit me perfectly, and also the rest of mine are a five and they more or less fit me perfectly. I don't walk out of any of the other ones. Brings me to my next point. I have been lusting over these sparkly Golden Goose runners for the longest time. Ever since I saw them on Instagram, this girl put them up, she changed the laces to like this pale baby pink that are stunning. I'll pop in a picture here. I'm definitely gonna do that for summer because as you can see, I have the major glitterized now. I even changed the laces to the silver golden goose glitter laces to make them even more glittery. And the more I'm looking at them, I'm like, these are quite wintry now. <laughs> so I'll definitely have to put like a pale pink um, like pastel laces just to brighten them up and make them a little bit more summery. If you have shopped from Revolve before, you'll know that a lot of the price things on Revolve are way more expensive than buying them from another retailer because they're coming from America and the price that you pay includes your import duties, shipping and charges and all that. So these were like way more than your usual Golden Goose um, runner and I wasn't going to get them until I got a notification being like, your Golden Goose runners are back in stock and I went, to look and there were four and I was like and this was like the week after them so I was like will the four fit me won't they so I put through the order I tried them on they came and they fit and I was like it was meant to be but they were really expensive and to be honest I don't think I'd ever pay that price for a pair of golden goose again when I know I can get them for much cheaper second hand or on smallable or vestiaire collective or whatever like these were even way more expensive than buying a full pair price on like Farfetch but um, these ones were limited edition from the Revolve collection, but the laces that they came with were mank. They were like a dirty, grubby gray color. I was like, no thanks. But I love them with the sparkly ones. Would you believe these are actually the laces that they use to tie up the parcels when you shop from the actual Golden Goose website? But just to give you a look at them, like they are so sparkly. I can tell already I'm gonna wear these loads in winter. Um, I think that they'll be nice in summer too once I add in the pink laces. You'll see what that girl has done um, when I pop in the picture and you'll be like, yeah, these are a vibe when you wear them like that. But they are really special. Um, one thing about it is though, I don't know if I love them as much as the other pair. Like I think maybe I'm just not ob as obsessed with glitter as I think I am because every time I get a glitter pair, I'm like, I love the glitter of Golden Goose. And then I always just prefer the other pair. So I don't know, I still do love them. I just think that they're giving me kind of wintry vibes, especially with the, and I'm more of a gold girl too. I don't know why I'm starting to buy so much silver when it comes to golden goose, but they are really cute. I probably will end up selling them on maybe like next year after I wear them through next year's winter. So maybe by next summer I'll sell them, but like I won't get anywhere near what I paid for them, which is really annoying. But I'm looking forward to changing the laces to the pale pink. I think my opinion will majorly change on them then. But one thing I do want to say is that the four fit me. The four fit me, so maybe I am a four in Golden Goose adults after all. And then lastly, I got another pair of Velcro ones. And so far in my collection, before I got the ones with the pink laces, my gold Velcro ones have been my absolute favorite. I just love how they look so unusual. I love that it's only two Velcros instead of three because, oh my God, I got a pair of Vejas before um, plain cream or white and they had three straps and I literally looked like I was wearing like school shoes that used to wear to pee in primary school or bowling shoes or maybe worse and they were very uncomfortable. And guys, I must say that this pair isn't as comfortable as my other Velcro pair or as comfortable as the other ones. And the leather is just quite hard at the back, I think, and it's quite high. Like when I wear them, even with my insoles in it, it's kind of catching me on like, you know, that little ankle bone thing. Like that's kind of what my insoles do is like lift my, my arch and lift my ankle so I don't, so I'm not flat into my shoes. But these definitely at the sides, I don't know if it's a different shape. I actually don't think it is. Or maybe it is a small, but see here how this kind of goes up and down. Yeah, and this is very soft, like padded the whole way around. These ones are kind of like a harder leather and they just kind of go 
straight across. They definitely don't go, there's not as much of a dip. But I'm not worried about them being that little bit more hard because my Vejas were really hard when I got them um, originally kind of like this feel, especially at the heel and the side um, and I know how to break them in. Ever since I was a ballerina I can break in any type of shoe for you. Doc Martens, boots, Vejas, any boot or shoe or runner at all or heel you could hand me and I'll be able to break it in and soften it in some way because if I was able to make point shoes somewhat comfortable I can wear anything. It's very easy to soften these out. I will link the video or even pop it into the corner. You basically just press down on the back, even put your heel or a good bit of weight on it. It'll soften out the leather. Obviously it's going to change the structure a bit but if you draw a bit of um, softness I think doing something like this is a really good option and then also giving it a blast of some warm air from a hairdryer and it'll definitely soften it out and make it mold to your foot much better. But I do love these. I think that these are going to be a really nice summer pair. Again, we're staying away from the glitter. I think in summer we're here for the neon colours and I love that um, these are Velcro. I had a really nice neon pair last summer that I wore loads. It had a this colour yellow star and then the heel was like a metallic blue. Um, and I really loved them. I wore them loads. So I think that this year these are going to be like my go-to summer ones. And again, they're a really nice bright white. Um, the shoe itself doesn't have much scuffing on it. It's just the sole. The front of it has like basically no scuffing at all, which I really like. I don't like the ones that look proper dirty. I love the bit, bits of distressing. I know we've spoken about this before. I love like the little bit of imperfection. Perf imperfect, perfect. Ooh, we got a little pink theme going on. Like I love those little pieces, but I don't like when they look dirty, as in like muddy and scruffy. I like when they look funky and distressed. So these ones are both brilliant. Actually, all of them are quite a bright um, white. Now that we look, they don't have that much um, distressing or scruffing on them at all, which is nice, especially for the summer. I like the ones that are brighter white. I know I said this in my Golden Goose versus Veja video that I lean more towards Vejas in the summer because they're brighter. But to be honest, I don't think you can get brighter than this and I'm after selling basically all my Vejas. So I think that um, these are going to be my go-to pairs for the summer and they will just go with everything, especially this one. Like I said, if I'm, let's say, wearing a colour that won't go with pink, but let's be honest what doesn't go a pink I could just change the laces to even white if I just wanted a plain white runner and I've never had a pair with like animal um kind of fur at the back and it's not only a print it's actually you can feel it like you can see there from the side it's like actual hair it's very cool so they're all quite different as you can see we've got kind of a velcro bowling shoe neon vibe we have like a bit of a snow leopard with a pop of pink vibe and guys, isn't it weird how this was the pair I was most excited for that I planned to buy that was on my wish list the longest. And I'm not even, not that I'm not impressed with them because obviously I would have sent them back if I wasn't that impressed with them. But when you, when I think of me and my summer style, I think bright colours, very fun and quirky. I think that these ones are just giving me more winter vibe. But I really, really still do like them. And I think once I change the laces to the powder pink, it'll change my mind on them again because I've always wanted ones that were i've never had a style like this before that the shoe itself was white we have a bit of glitter on the heel a glitter on the star and a glitter on the toe and um, i've always had ones that were just glitter all over so i'm looking forward to seeing how i wear these i wore them the other day and i loved them they're very comfortable and even though we have a glitter tongue and um, it actually doesn't hurt the inside of your foot at all which is brilliant and i know that's something that people are kind of worried about when it comes to golden goose in general because of the low sides you can only kind of wear no socks or low socks to be honest i try buy like nice colored socks to wear with them because i don't really like the invisible ones i just find that they keep falling down on my heel behind me and that really annoys me and um, but like even here you can see that it's a really nice soft suede so there's nothing to worry about about the glitter on the tongue irritating you by any means so that is the end of my updated golden goose collection let me know which pair is your favorite and if you have any questions even though i think i've covered kind of my updated thoughts on the sizing and 
and the comfort and stuff, how I break them in, how I wear them, how I style them. But if I've forgotten anything at all, let me know in the comments below and I can't wait to hear which pair is your favourite and if there's a pair on your wish list. Next on my wish list is definitely a pair of the mid stairs. So they're kind of like high top converse but a little bit lower. And um, I think they'd be really nice as well for this time of year if you didn't want to have your ankles out because that's one thing I did notice this week wearing these is when I have on those small little socks that keep falling down and I have to have my cropped jeans on and my ankle needs a bit of tan like for example I'd often wear socks like this so like little nice ankle socks so they you can still pull them up but with these ones this week I had none in white of that shape so I just wore the kind of naked no socky socks and I just I don't enjoy them at all they look good but they're not comfortable especially for walking and um, so I'm gonna have to find a pair of socks I'm also gonna have to order a pair of the pale pink powder bright laces for these but yeah I'm looking forward to hearing which pair is your favorite and what's on your list and I'll see you again in the next video guys also please don't forget to like comment and subscribe because I will have two videos up if not more every week from now on so I hope that you are enjoying my channel and thanks so much for watching guys Thank you.